Welcome to the introduction of computational geometry. Computational geometry involves the design and analysis of algorithms for solving geometric problems. We'll explore various algorithms and their applications in this field. Let's begin by defining what a convex hull is. The convex hull of a set of points is the smallest convex polygon that contains all of the points. Now let's look at some properties. First, all points are either vertices, which means corners or inside the hull. Second, all internal angles are less than 180 degrees. Third, any line segment between two points inside the hull is contained within the hull. This means that if you take any two points within the shape and draw a line between them, that line will also be inside the shape. Now let's look at how to compute the convex hull using an algorithm called the Graham scan. The Graham scan algorithm has a time complexity of big O of n log n, where n is the number of points. Here are the steps. Step 1, find the point with the lowest y-coordinate, or the leftmost if there is a tie. Step 2, sort all points by their polar angle with respect to the lowest point. Step 3, build the hull by processing points in order using a stack. Step 4, for each point, check if it makes a left turn with the last two points on the stack. Step 5, if it is not a left turn, pop the last point and check again. On the right side, we can see a Python implementation of this algorithm. First, the function finds the lowest point and then sorts all the points by polar angle with respect to the lowest point. After that, it builds the hull by checking for left turns and popping points until all the points in the convex hull is determined. Convex hulls have many practical applications. The first application is collision detection. Convex hulls can be used to simplify complex shapes for faster collision detection in games and simulations. The second application is geographic analysis. Convex hulls can be used for finding the boundary of geographical regions and calculating areas of influence. The third application is pattern recognition. Convex hulls can be used for shape analysis and feature detection in computer vision applications. Let's define the line intersection problem. Given two line segments defined by their endpoints, the goal is to determine if they intersect, and if so, at what point. We can represent line 1 as a segment from point x1, y1 to point x2, y2. Line 2 goes from point x3, y3 to the point x4, y4. For two line segments to intersect, they must share exactly one point, and this point must lie within both line segments. Now let's discuss the sweep line algorithm, which is an efficient algorithm used to find all intersections among a set of line segments. It operates in big O of n plus k log n time, where n is the number of segments and k is the number of intersections. First, sort all segment endpoints by x coordinate. Second, sweep a vertical line from left to right. Third, maintain a status data structure of segments crossing the sweep line. Fourth, at each event point, check for intersections between adjacent segments. Fifth, report all intersections found during the sweep. Line intersection algorithms have various applications. The first application is in geographic information systems, or GIS systems, finding intersections between roads, rivers, and boundaries. The second application is in computer graphics, used for ray tracing, visibility determination, and clipping algorithms. The third application is VLSI design, detecting and resolving wire crossings in electronic circuit layouts. The closest pair problem involves finding the pair of points with the smallest distance between them, given a set of points in a metric space. Given the points P and Q, the distance D between them is equal to the square root of P sub X minus Q sub X, squared, plus p sub y minus q sub y squared. A naive approach to solving this problem is to compare every possible pair of points and keep track of the minimum distance found. This method has a time complexity of big O of n squared. A divide and conquer approach splits the points, solves recursively, and combines with a clever merge step, and this has a time complexity of big O of n log n. Here are the steps of the divide and conquer approach. Step 1. Sort points by the x-coordinate. 
Step 2. Divide the points into left and right halves. Step 3. Recursively find the closest pairs in each half. Step 4. Find the minimum distance delta from both halves. Step 5. Check for closer pairs that cross the dividing line. Step 6. Return the overall minimum distance. In summary, we've covered several key algorithms in computational geometry. The first algorithm is the convex hull using the Graham scan, an algorithm with big O of n log n to find the smallest convex polygon containing all the points. The second algorithm is line intersection using the sweep line algorithm with big O of n plus k log n to find all intersections among n line segments. The third is the closest pair using the divide and conquer algorithm with big O of n log n to find the closest pair of points in a plane. These fundamental algorithms form the foundation for solving more complex computational geometry problems and have applications across numerous fields. If you like this video, hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe. Visit codelucky.com for more such useful content.